All right, we're going to do some trailer reactions. Let's see if Dune trailer 3 was posted in 4K. It is. It is posted in 4K. So, like, remember, remember when I watched this one and it wasn't? They listened. You're stupid. Do they have subtitles? It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. It's they been do a have while subtitles. Since you've had one of those nightmares. Tell me. What All right. Was it about? So we're gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna have to redo this. I like the. Uh, this is. This trailer seems more. The the trailers that they create for this seem more interesting with each one. There's already something like pretty compelling about this for some reason. It's okay. I like the editing. I like the editing a lot. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Tell me, what was it about? It was about. It was about some. I dreamt I was in some terrible movie called Wanker. Sorry, Wonka. I dreamt I was in, in some piece of shit. That's not even out. Well, actually, is it out yet? Is it out? <laughs> Only fragments. Nothing's clear. I mean, this this seems so much more interesting than trailer one. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. No! My family's been fighting them for centuries. That's a great shot. Your blood comes from dukes and great houses. From dukies? Here. He's making a dukie. We're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. I'm still, I'm still not like <laughs> happy about the eyes. I'm still not, it still looks just so weird. It looks like a YouTuber could have made that effect really easily, you know? I'm not, I'm not happy about those. Maybe I'll show you the way. Ew! Ew! Ew, gross! With this Del Dennis Villanueva. Deal with this. I love how I will never Olivia. You have to show the clip. Why don't I find it right now? All right, what was it? Was it Blade Runner twenty forty nine? Which one was it? Hi everybody, I'm Lights Camera Jackson. Been there, done that is the best way to describe the extraterrestrials come to earth genre. Director Dennis Villanueva. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. Sorry. <laughs> it's just I just think it's funny because of how like confidently he says it. I think it's just it's fun. It's just a fun, I like it. It's a fun meme. Jackson, been there, done that is the best way to describe the extraterrestrials come to earth genre. Director Dennis Villanueva of Prisoners and Sicario. I don't think you, like, it's one of those things where it's like you would just have to look up anything about the director to know it's not pronounced that way. <laughs> you would just, you would just have to know who, like, anything about the director to know that that's not how it's pronounced lights camera camera jackson is kind of a interesting caricature of a human being very interesting all right we're not going to get distracted here we're going to go back to the a dooney movie a do a, a very an extremely dooney movie deal with this prophet oh shit it's the Gorilla from the Jungle Book. <laughs> Fade Rotha. He's psychotic. Pfft. 
damn is she dead or is he dead who died Ooh, that's cool i like love the lighting choice sorry the color choice here i wonder if it, it there's something about this scene that makes me feel as though it's not even like a film choice of like a flashback but it's like an environment choice there's something about the quality of this or i guess the universe the quality of the universe that makes me feel as though it's like are there just black and is there a black and white planet like it's the environment right yeah i don't know why i don't know why it seems that way but it feels that way see possible futures all at once and in so many futures our enemies prevail but i do see a way there is a narrow he knows the way the way through <laughs> the way is through the butthole honestly see oh shit was that austin butler Is Dune the first, like, giant sandworms thing? Is that what everybody copied? Is that what Mass Effect and Tremors and every everybody copied? My allegiance is to you. It looks a bit better in this lighting, I guess. Just that other, that other scene, the eyes looked so <laughs> unnatural. Do you believe me? D what? That's a woman's name. What the fuck? This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate. Why are they getting woke? <laughs> this is a cool costume. Damn. Power. <clears throat> this is this this is. <sighs> it's crazy that as boring as I found the first movie, I. I'm like kind of excited for this just because it looks a bit more interesting both visually and I, I don't know the trailer's really selective so I can't say like narratively really but like surely things have to be happening at some point I want you to know. I will... those were some really cool explosion effects honestly this one oh look at how it <clears throat> how it like morphs into itself you can see the pressure like the vacuum i like that usually you just see you usually you only see the explosions kind of like going outward if anything you have like a tiny little universal vacuum at the beginning but now it's like in one particular spot i like that. that's cool that that really gives it that 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 gives it a really a really realistic feeling to it. It's something that you don't see much of. I want you to know. That's cool. I don't know if that's actually a pressure vacuum or just part of it falling now that I'm seeing this multiple times. But either way, I like that. I like that it's incorporating that and it's not just like, oh, we're adding an explosion effect over this one part of the environment. Yeah, it could just be it falling. Yeah, which is creating a downward i don't know if pressure is the right word draft i'm looking for all these words that i am not an expert you no know, i will love you as long as i breathe you'll never lose me as long as you stay who you are consider what you're about to do you call atreides Silence, you have a fucking weird accent, idiot. What are you, Scottish? Consider what you're about to do, you call a Atreides. <laughs> first, the first Scottish accent we hear. Silence! Good scene. Denied, sit down. What the hell is happening here? Wow. The... <sighs> The way that the the one on the right just sticks down and shows up in like only a couple frames is pretty in, intense, I think. The first, you know, seeing that out of the corner of my eye, 
the first thought was like, did something just pop out of the ground? Did something just like appear out of the ground? Um, but now seeing that it's also falling, it's uh, it's a lot more intense. It gives d d the speed at which and the fact that it's just kind of staying there without bouncing gives a lot of um, weight to it and makes it seem kind of scary, honestly. That, that's fucked. I hope there's some good sound design to go along with that too. I just like, I, I hope we don't, I really did not like that Hans Zimmer fucking Wonder Woman type score, you know? I was really, really not a fan of the ha ha um, Now I'm kind of like, am I really gonna love the movie? I don't know. Good D-Box movie? <laughs> I don't think there is one. I will rewatch the first movie before this. I don't know if I'm going to have any kind of a different opinion. Maybe I'll understand what the fuck's even going on Prophecy this time. Is how they enslave us. Johnny! Johnny. You are not prepared for what is to come. An, an extremely Dooney movie. PG-13? Boo. Whatever, it looks... I mean, it's a good-looking trailer. I'm not gonna Hello, deny Hello, everybody. Help We're about to watch a really late. great movie. Why are we why did? You? Why is there autoplay? Why is there autoplay? What the fuck? No way. How do I turn that off? No, I didn't click on it. Autoplay is on. Okay, now it's off. Why don't you stay off? Does YouTube just like sneakily turn these things back on? Or do I accidentally click it? Does this happen to anybody else? Um. Well, um, I really like Dennis Villanueva as a director. So we're kind of obligated to see his films until the end of time, unless he has, like, a weird falling off. Hey, everyone. Olivia here. Thanks so much for watching the video. It's January, so let's read off the first Patreon credits of 2024. My $5 and up patrons are... Brock H. Clarice Carlson. Tyler Cukes. Nico Fuentes. Joel 999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Silverwind, Toby White, Scott S, Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, George Salazar, www.openclassactions.com, Emil, Blank, Judum the Kinslayer, No Rope, T King, Saliv 88, Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer. Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack. Charisma, the Super One player. Zachary Kane. Gillyflower. Purple Fire. Gabriel Herrera. And Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Thanks so much to everyone who has supported me and my channel. I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of the really kind and supportive messages that I've been getting from a lot of viewers. When I started YMS Highlights, I didn't have the highest opinion of myself. I took a more silent role in running the channel and kind of avoided inserting my own humor into my videos too often because I thought, you know, people would find it annoying, but... Surprisingly, I was wrong. I got so many comments complimenting my little editing gags and editorials. It made me feel a lot better about myself. And when I came out as a trans woman, I got so many kind and supportive words from all of you that made me feel accepted in a way I hadn't felt before. Also, I've just gotten a lot of nice comments uh, regarding 
the design of my little uh, talking avatar here that my friend Sunny Fulf made for me. I initially just created it for streaming, but decided to include it in videos to help, you know, newer viewers figure out that this channel is run by someone else and not Adam. Although I don't think it helped much, I still get comments from confused viewers who think I'm Adam. But I got so many comments from people complimenting the design that it caught me off guard. Even if some of y'all are a bit too focused on one specific aspect of my avatar's anatomy, but it's fine, I don't blame you. It's a fair reaction. <laughs> anyway, um, when I started this channel, I genuinely didn't like myself. I thought I was a very pathetic and annoying person. But you guys have just been so supportive and accepting of me that I'm actually starting to feel way more confident about myself than I used to. I will never be able to thank you guys enough for saving me from my feelings like that. You guys are all amazing people. Take care, all of you.